So I wanted to show you guys how I reverse engineer problems when I'm creating them for you on my practice tests. So I'm going to take problem number 15 and it's on the AccuPlacer functions test. So it says x is not equal to negative 2 and x is not equal to 3 halves. And then they gave us this as the equation. 5 over x plus 2 is equal to x over 2x minus 3. So I'm going to show you guys how I solve this first, and then I'll show you how I reverse engineer it in order to make new example problems for you guys. So in order to solve this, you have to cross multiply. So I would do 5 times 2x minus 3, and then I would do equals x times x plus 2. So 5 times 2x is 10x, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, x times x is x squared, plus 2x. Okay, so then what I would do here is, because I see this x squared, I realize that I'm going to have to get all of this over to the right side, and then it'll become a trinomial. So the way that I get all of it to the right side is I'm going to subtract 10x and add 15. So I'm going to subtract 10x and add 15. So it's going to be x squared minus 8x plus 15. Okay, so now that it's a trinomial, I'm going to go ahead and break it into two binomials by factoring. So x and x breaks down the x squared. Then I have to find two numbers that multiply to get 15, but add to get negative 8. So that would be negative 3 and negative 5. And then in order to solve, I'm going to have to set each one of these equal to 0. Okay, and then you solve by adding 3 to both sides. So x is equal to 3. And add 5 to both sides. So x will be equal to 5. So that's how you would solve this type of problem. But now I want to show you guys, okay, what process do I use in order to reverse engineer this in order to give you guys example problems? So for example, on my practice test, you guys will see an example problem like this. Okay, but it's not the same version that you'll see on the AccuPlacer test. How do I go about creating these problems? Well, I literally have to do it backwards. So I start with the answer. So my answer were these. So I start with the answer. So I choose two answers that I want to go with. So I go x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3. So if x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3, remember the way that we got that is by having two binomials side by side. So I would do x minus 2 and x minus 3. The reason why I did the opposite signs is because when you solve them and you set them equal to 0, they become positive. So if I want x to be equal to 2 and x to be equal to z 3, then I have to set them as negative. Okay, so now that I have x minus 2 and x minus 3, I'm going to go ahead and now do the next step, which is make it into a trinomial. Again, I'm working backwards, you guys. So I would do x squared minus 3x minus 2x and then plus 6. I'd add these together, so it would be x squared minus 5x plus 6. So now I have a trinomial. Now I have to ask myself, okay, now that it is in a trinomial, I have to ask myself, how can I set it up like this part, where if I have it set equal to each other, that part of it is over here, part of it is over here, but then when you subtract everything, it gets to be this trinomial. So what I just did is I have to do like a guess and check method, but I start with like, I would say like x squared, and then I would do minus 3x, and then I have 2x minus 6. So if I were to subtract 2x plus 6, subtract 2x plus 6, I would end up with the x squared minus 5x plus 6. So I know that if I have this, then I will be able to go backwards. And when you, you go ahead and solve this, then you'll be able to subtract from both sides and create this trinomial. So then I went ahead and I did this part. But now I have to see how to go from here to this one. 
So now I have to break these sides down by factoring. So I take out an X and I do X minus three, and then I bring out a two and I'm left with X minus three. And so now I have this part, okay? But now I need to make this part look like this. So I know that if these are being multiplied and these are being multiplied, if I have a proportion set up, they were being, I used the butterfly method, meaning these were being multiplied and then these are being multiplied. So I would have to put X over here and X minus three over here. I would have to put two over here and X minus three over here. So now I have my problem, X over X minus three is equal to two over X minus three. And this is the problem that I would set up for you in my test, my practice test. And then you would have to go ahead and solve it and you would end up getting this as your answer. So I'm gonna show you guys, I know it may be a little bit complicated, but I wanna show you guys how that would work out for you guys now that I have my practice problem that I created for you. And I do this with all of the practice problems that I create, all the practice problems, all the practice tests, every video that you see me have multiple examples of the same, I literally have to reverse engineer in my brain so that I can create more examples for you. So let's see if we end up getting the answers. X is equal to two and X is equal to three. So again, how do we solve um, an equation like this? We would cross multiply. So we're gonna do X times X minus three. And then we would do equals two X minus three. And we would end up getting X squared minus three X is equal to two X minus six. And then we want to get everything to the same side. So we would minus 2x plus 6 minus 2x plus 6. We would end up getting x squared minus 5x plus 6. We want to go ahead and factor that. So what two numbers multiply to get, we're going to do x and x. What two numbers multiply to get 6 but add to get negative 5? That would be negative 3 and negative 2. We set these each equal to 0. Each equal, oops to zero, and then we solve. Add three, add three, x is equal to three. Add two, add two, x is equal to two. So my answer would be three and two, and that's what I started off with. So if you felt like this video was a little bit confusing, it wasn't really to teach you how to do the problem, but I just wanted to show you guys like a behind the scenes of what it is that I do for you guys so that you understand that if it takes me a while to put out a new video with multiple examples, or if I charge $13 for a practice test, it's not because I wanna charge you guys all this money, but it's just because I take a lot of time to make each example problem and to make it very similar to the test problems that you may um, have on your um, placement tests. So this is my process. This is how I reverse engineer things for you. That's how I would just get, it would look like, okay, all Miss Amber wrote was number 15 and she wrote that. But in reality, I did all of this and tested it before I can just give you one practice problem. I hope this helped you to see a little um, back end of what I do for you guys. I hope you enjoy it and just know I really do love what I do. I hope to see you guys in the next video.